we are back. I am just waiting for the entire thing to just reset. So that's a thing. Oh, hey, that's actually kind of neat. Top five quick bans from OU history. I might have to watch. I'm gonna watch that later. Is that fucking powerful? Yeah, it's zero to hero. Zero hero is actually really fucking great. Oh my god, it's awesome. Um, we have what has been recommended to me. History of the entire world, I guess. This is the last video I have for tonight because I said I'm not feeling super good tonight. Um, I also did. This is the second night in a row of doing 200 sword swings in a row, so I'm a little tired. <laughs> um. I don't know what this is. I, I don't. I feel like I've seen this once upon a time or maybe a portion of it, but I, I literally have absolutely no memory of this. Uh, this was highly recommended. I'm going to try to keep it under 40 minutes. I think that's a good benchmark for Kip. I'm trying not to make it two hours. That's all. That's my goal. <laughs> Let's get into it. Hi, you're on a rock, floating in space. Accurate. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even yeah. get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. How did this happen? A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like okay. I said, it didn't yeah. happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every we it gets. Know why. Amazing. I didn't pause it, right? I didn't pause champ. Did I pause champ? Forget this. Okay. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Go. Do something. It was not. It wasn't a pause. It was a feature. That's amazing. <laughs> it's a weird looking voice. Voice is a bit low. Okay, I can modify that a little bit. It's because the video is as it is. Let's try that. Thing. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here, and it probably already happened. I yeah. just don't know when to start. Okay. And that's exactly where it Let's started. Start now. Oh. I paused it. Just fucking start now. I think there's a universe now. now. What's it made oh, of? God. Corks and stuff. Ah, that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. Land. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion... Shit paid about the future. Yeah, I fucking did. ...in degrees. Great news. The quarks are now happily married in groups of three called oh, a proton God. or a neutron. No. Stop it. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too... <laughs> Super. Hot. Great news. The protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some yeah. of them even doubled up. Rough. Great news. The electrons have now joined in. Congratulations. The world is now a bunch of gas in space. Neat. But it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's a star. New shit just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with oh passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. Space dust. Which allows space newer, dust. more interesting stars to be made and uh -huh. then die and explode into. Even crazier space dust. So yeah. now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like yeah. this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. How and fucking it kind of rude. made a mess, which is now. <laughs> Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them, and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather oh. update, cooler temperatures today in the floor. Where did the lizard people come in? That's what I want to know. There's no longer lava. Weather update, it's raining. Rain. Severe flooding alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Uh-huh. Volcano alert. That's land. Kyogre and Groudon with their fucking beef. As, as it be. There's nothing in the ocean. What? What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh, cool, like crab. a plant or an animal? No, no, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly Extreme spacing ingredients left over from when it was raining order. rocks or whatever. Oh, yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty Never. nifty, I would say. Tired of living nifty. at the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat sunlight. <laughs> Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Taste the sun. Side effect, now there's Taste oxygen everywhere the and the sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, yeah. maybe even a couple of times. Yeah. It's a sponge, it's a plant, what? it's a worm, and some other types of weird strange water bugs it's and strange fish. Worm, it's it's the Cambrian explosion. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's animals and stuff. But animals we're still in the ocean. Hey, indeed. can we go on land? No. no. Why? The sun Sunny is a deadly, deadly laser. laser. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I, I didn't know that actually came from this. There's a, there's a, a TikTok format on that. And it's just like, hey, you want to go outside? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh my god, I've sourced the meme. Thank you, chat. Not anymore, is it like it? Now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, yeah. can't walk yet. No, fuck and there's that. no food yet, so I don't care. No, fuck that. Okay, will you learn to walk if there's plants up here? Yeah. Maybe, said some bugs. Said some bugs. <laughs> fuck that fish that... The reason I have depression is because someday, some some fucking day in the past, some fish was like, fuck it, I'm going to go up there. I'm going to go up there and do something. I'm going to do stuff. 
and now I exist today with depression. So put that into perspective. <laughs> fuck that fish. Well, rather, don't. But fuck that fish. <laughs> go back in the water. Okay, so I could go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have babies. Yeah. Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg, in what? the water, in the egg. What? Works for me. Bye bye. Hi. And now everything's huge, including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Oh, fuck. Fish. Now Take everything's dead. Just yeah. kidding. Here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another so, map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. So there was a. Someone uh, brought this to our attention, right? So if we looked at a turkey under like an x ray and shit. So if we like saw like a turkey or a chicken, right? And you know how it's like bones, you know, kind of look, you know, the way it is, right? Um, and if we tried to recreate it without knowing it had feathers, wouldn't it look an awful lot like a dinosaur? Or what we know to look like sta standard stereotypical dinosaurs? So I'm a fan of the notion, and I, I, w I would love to have some science, some person with their scientific field, like, be this and substantiate this, right? Like, just, yeah, no, this, the T-Rex and shit just had fucking feathers all over. Like, they were just covered in feathers, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, did the finally invented time machine that can save our future and bash his fish's head in with a big fucking rock and you throw it back in so it gets eaten by the other ones? I have done it. Part, don't worry about Shit it. It, it is. Becomes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gone. That was Altman's, uh, what do you call it? That was the, that's the marker from Dead Space. There's, there's your nerd reference. <laughs> It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. No, now they gotta that. dominate the world, and one of them just learned how to grab stuff. What? And walk. No, like, no. walk like that. And what? grab stuff at the same time. My and bang office. rocks together to make pointed rocks. Ouch. Oh and set things on fire. Yeah. Yeah. And make crazy sounds with their voice. <laughs> which can mean different things. We still That's do. a human person. And now oh, yeah. they're everywhere. Almost. Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. But I guess we're stuck <laughs> yeah. here now. Let's review. There's people on the planet. Uh-huh. And they're chasing their food. Yeah. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Uh -huh. Look at this. I control the food now. Now so everyone will want to be yeah. my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. Yeah. This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Yeah. Better farming was Iron just invented Asia. in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people who came uh -huh. to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things. This sounds like just a wheel of like communism, capitalistic ideals. This is this is amazing. Which makes things better and more people come and there's more farming and more people yeah. to make more things for more. Well, communism, capitalism, as we know them, obviously aspects of that have been like repeated throughout history in various forms. Like, my brain is so happy right now. More people, and now there's business, money, writing, laws, power, yeah. society. Coming soon to one. a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, dank out river in the middle valley. of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using Add lame, metal. sad metal? Introducing bronze. Made with special ingredient tin from the yeah. far lands of Tinland. RuneScape taught me that. I don't know. My dealer won't tell me where he gets tin it. Land. Also, guess what? Egypt. Yeah. While out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now wow. we're getting somewhere. Also, Wild. China. Uh -huh. Did I mention? In this river valley civilization. Neat. The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock knock or clop clop. It's the people with the horses, and they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks. Ah, oh, look, it must be the Greeks or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley. I read those mega mice eat Greeks. That is not what that said. Civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about. Like we underestimate like how long China has been around. And like, well, I don't think it was even called China up until um, Mao's Mao's takeover. I think it was called something different, right? I, I'd have to check old, like, you know, I can ask. I have to go ask Silver Calvary. I have to ask if he's seen a textbook prior to the communist takeover in China. I'm very curious what their t what the history textbooks have to say about what China was called before that. I'm God. Okay, that's that's gonna be my project after the stream. Like we underestimate how long like China as a concept has fucking been around, and like how like long they've had relevant inventions like fucking gunpowder. Like it's actually insane. Out of their cousins or something. <laughs> And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. 
There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, that's can we switch one. to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 Iron tribes of Israel. Them. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the only... Hold up, hold up. What was the name of God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step... I am God. No one else is God. Do not make fun of my name. You can take you, you can take Saturday off. Do what your parents say. Don't murder anyone. Don't get too sexy. Don't rob anyone. Don't lie about other people in court. I don't want to do any of these things. I don't want to do anything I just told you not to do. Wow. Step program. Here's oh, some God. huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks yeah. copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind. It's the Babylonian Median. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's Persia big. as well. Ah, oh, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. Oh my god. Oops, China up. just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. Yeah, That's a he great did. idea. He was great. And now he's he dead. Hopefully yep. the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between No, them. they won't. Knock, knock, it's Chandra Gupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, <laughs> thanks, bye. Time to conquer oh, all of India. India. Most of India. But what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. Probably. And they've got spices. Who would like oh to buy God. the spices? Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey. And because they made everyone's food taste fucking great, that's why they weren't conquered. China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Uh -huh. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Yeah. Out I here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification uh -huh. overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Spices are just ancient. Bitcoin proved me wrong. I mean, like, was there something that was more prized at that fucking era? Was there something more consistent other than like literal money? L let me let me let me rephrase that. Was there something? And I I'll have to ask Civil Cavalry because like he's literally a history teacher. Um, like, was there anything that would that is not money, jewels, etc. that could be used as like currency that was more present with royalty and like the higher classes, right? H higher classes in society than spices. Spices were effectively, from my understanding, a status symbol. I'll have to have this substantiated that this is now like, my brain is just, it's so happy. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire <laughs> Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks hey, for invading our Romans. homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Yeah. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested in- Literal Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dropping a medieval peasant's skin. <laughs> He, uh, uh, yeah, no, that's the one. Killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make yeah. a religion out of this. Want oh silk? God. Now you can buy it from China. They just made a brand new road to the world. And it's also a website, from my understanding, one that I will never visit. Oh. Or you can get their own water. Sick. New trade routes, said India, accidentally yeah. spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's yeah. a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember <laughs> the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yeah. yet? Let's do it together. China's home again. Amazing. Then it broke again. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Help. It's a... Like, to this day, it is still one of those annoyances. Because, like, Sahara does it not mean desert. It's a, it's the desert desert. Like, I get irrationally upset about this. Oh, yeah, now we got business. Said the Ghana Empire, selling yeah. lots of gold and slaves. Me. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire, and not I me. was wondering. Is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Actually, ah. okay, sure, said Constantine, moving Aww. the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about yeah. Rome, it won't fall. It's yep. the Golden Age of There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. Yeah. The first. Not really. The Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or actually just half of it. The other half is just fine, but it's not in Rome anymore. So and this is why the fall of the Roman Empire spans literally fucking 14 volumes. <laughs> I'm going to do a book report on, or I'm going to do a report on the fall of the Roman Empire. You don't want to do that. Why? Tell me when it fell in under 14 novels. So let's give it a new name. 
The Mayans have figured out the stars. Oh, and here's yeah. a huge city, population everyone. Yeah. The Gok Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great Me. job, Gok Turks. Yeah. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. Me. How's those trading kingdoms? Bigger uh -huh. and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Me. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells the cube. What the fuck? Tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this and maybe um. conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Here's all the wisdom. In a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just huh. in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone yeah. owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman Emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. <laughs> then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just Norse if you don't have much time, are exploring. The they go north, from the north to the north. I, I have to, I, someone's going to have to clarify the cube in the comments. Like, th that is something that I'm definitely missing. I'm missing something there. Northern North, and they find some land, two types of land, and they yeah, name them accordingly. Yeah. <laughs> they also invade some other places and get called many names, such yeah. as Vikings. There's yeah, the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't no. think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy yeah. Roman Empire. It's actually... So is this the... Second Reich? I think this is the Second Reich, right? The, the rise, right? The Second Rise of the Roman Empire? Because this isn't the third. Germany, but don't worry about it. New Kingdoms. Christianize all the kingdoms. Which brand would ha! you like? Mine's That's better. The... Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to I'm conquer good. England, said William. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks, <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. For the grace, for the might of our Lord. <laughs> That sabaton come to my head. Land? Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did many crusades. <laughs> See that over there? Yes, yeah, Jerusalem. Our Jerusalem. And that's what the crusades were. <laughs> Imagine the looks in Sally's face and they went to Greenland and saw what actually was for the home of the holy. <laughs> That's the one. Some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, uh -huh. Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at no. those mounds. Wait, what? There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess That's who's here? Me. Come here. Where? Here. And there. Pagan is there. Vietnam yeah. unconquered itself. Korea just became itself. And Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. Oh China God. just invented Show bombs me. and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice yeah, they going, did. Genghis. I the Mongols are, from my understanding, one of the most interesting in terms of civilization study. Because from my understanding, and I've had, I've had teachers talk about this because they actually have credentials that I don't, right? But they break literally every, like, necessity for a society to, like, to make itself. The, 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 they, they don't. They, they, they break that mold. And they're the only ones that do it. Legends. Uh, really, the Genghis Khan. I mean, yeah. That, that's what happens if you procreate that much. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic oh. Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's Chad. an empire there. Right in the middle of it. The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, Me? that guy's rich, everyone yeah. said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please ah! remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Aww. Europe just died. China's back, yay! Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Yeah. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's oh my god, never. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci, you absolute fucking playboy. <laughs> before s almost everybody here related to, uh, before someone comments it, yeah. Sao Tong was out the sack and grow in 1527. <laughs> Thank you for commenting that. I appreciate that. Kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Aww. Let's make books. So yeah. you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, yeah. said the Ottoman Turks. Probably. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget Aww. to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. Oh, what? That's oh. bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, uh -huh. I guess we'll have to find another way to India. Yeah. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the fucking dickhead. The world is round. Let's go this way to India. No, don't worry. We already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No. no. Please? No. Please? No. Please? No. Please? Okay. 
So he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean, yeah. and then discovers the Indies and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families, they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your Probably way out yeah. of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent, said Suleiman, wearing an onion hat? What if the Ottoman Empire was really big, which it is now? What if Russia was big, said Ivan, trying not to be terrible? Oh, no. Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Yeah, Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging. Damn, that's fucked up. Doing some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, ah! said Amsterdam. I've heard good things about Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question uh -huh. one, can you get to India through North America? No, Probably. but at least no. there's beaver. Wait. Question two, Steve. <laughs> Someone take that out of context, please. At least there's beaver. Hashtag Kaiju Kip out of context. There you go. That's right on the fucking golden stick right there. Feel the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Yeah. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. Yeah. In the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next oh. thing on Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates in... What do you mean? No! No! No, 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 no! 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 If you haven't seen the past few videos this stream, if you're on the React channel, you're wondering why I'm reacting the way I am. We have now hit the three Deathly Hallows tonight of Kip. We have hit RuneScape, OnlyFans, and now Ohio. I thought I was safe, but god damn it. No! No! Oh my god. It's like a really shitty bingo sheet. Oh my god, I need to use the fucking- I know Vine Sauce uses it, there's a bingo sheet generator. I need to go put shit in for streams. I have to make a bingo sheet stream uh, for my streams now. Just- oh my god. <laughs> need a second. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> okay, alright, I need to, I need to rewind to the Ohio bit, hold up. France are having a friendly discussion about yeah. who should control the entire world, more huh? specifically Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about yeah. Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, no. they did. It's Wait. Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. Oh. So they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now France is broke. And That is the important thing to take from that. It's that the British could not fight the Americans and the French at the same time. The French helped win that. That is the important piece of history. Britain there. will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Oh. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Uh. Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, Robespierre cutting no. everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You yeah. can make a relit. No, don't. Don't, no, no. Like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't Me? they think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? said Napoleon, oh, trying to no. take over Europe. Luckily, oh, no. they banished him to an island. But he came back from yeah, he did. They banished him to another island. There yeah, goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain hey. just figured out how to turn steam into power, so now they can make... I think that's technically inaccurate, as I think the Romans were able to do that. However, it wasn't able to be made profitable until this point in time, if I remember that correctly. Spain does get forgotten. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Different types of machines and factories uh -huh. Uh -huh. with machines in them so they can make a lot of products real fast. And this thus began the first industrial revolution. Apparently there was there were four total at this point, or like 
Like, through where we are today, apparently there's like four industrial revolutions at this point. Then they invent some trains and conquer oh. India and maybe put some trains there. Hey, oh, China, China, said Britain. Buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says yeah. China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. Oh. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Yeah. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. Whoa. That's just where he lives. Huh. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Sent you a message. Technology is about to go crazy. There we go. The United States finally figured out whether slavery... Becoming children working in factories. Oh my god, if only it stopped. ...is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of... Let me let him finish this 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 thing on manifest destiny because that was to go from sea to shining sea, to just effectively go forth and conquer the land, right? The natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. So if I understand it correctly, and I heard this in passing from teacher friend, because what else do we talk over beer? Because you know, because fuck my life, am I right? <laughs> uh, manifest destiny. Part of that was also a national security thing. So, to go from sea to shining sea, at the very least, you can confirm it is one country from one end of this country to the other end of the, one end of this landmass to the other end of this landmass. So, there is national security elements and, you know, security elements baked into that mentality. Obviously, it's fucked and, like, very um, uh, colonial fucking uh, in terms of mindset, right? But, like, it wasn't as simple as just go forth and, like, crusade and venture forth and, and you know, have land. Like, there were actual, like, other national security reasons for that, you know, hence kicking Mexicans at the time back down, right? Like, right? Like, <sighs> history's fucked. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see. History's fucked. You could rape it the fastest? They never got Ethiopia. Britain and France are still hungry. They never got Thailand. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, ah! so they're looking for more. Cuba. Oh. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Oh, well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. Aww. So they blame the main on Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal connecting the two oceans. Well, Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe huh. hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns. Oh, and that... There was a lot of... Of bloodshed in this war. This war was fucked. Occupation of the Philippines is fucked. This, yeah, this is, this is. There's a lot of lives getting lost. That's fucked. It's gonna be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism. In the Soviet Union. The yep. Arabs revolt and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire's gone, so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not so Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis yeah. conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Uh -huh. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The econ it's 1920s. The economy is fucked. Hold on a second. Germany's great, and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model, and he's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international... And they do deny it. That's the problem. The international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, Pacific Showdown. United States versus Japan. Fight. Fight. Uh-huh. <laughs> Finish him. Let's unite all the nations. The fun fact, there was also a third one that was intended to drop. If you are not aware, there was... It's, uh, look up the demon core. It's uh, the core that was going to be used in the third one that was dropped. However, then it later actually um, was used for study, and someone actually lost their life dealing with the demon core because of a mishap in experiment. Uh, if memory serves, it's been a while since I've watched it. But yes, no, the demon core, it is a thing. You should look it up in the history of it. It's actually kind of neat in a weird gruesome history way and have some world peace seems legit hi i'm gandhi and if britain doesn't get the hell out of india i'm going to starve myself in public 
Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them can be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at both. the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Both? Psych, they both get angrier. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Oh, Communism. No. no thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War. Which one is the real China? I feel like this is definitely a thought-provoking question. Which one is the real China? The China that fled to Taiwan? Or the China that took over what we used to be China? I feel like I'm not going to be very popular in China. I can already tell the CCP probably has me in there. <laughs> like the bots are just going to swarm me. Or Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins. Then it's on pause forever. Let's yeah. meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. Uh -huh. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Yeah, they do. Fight. 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 Wait, no, that would no. be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. Yep, mutually assured destruction. Also, fun fact, technically the Soviets did win the nuclear arms race. Because would we like to take a look at what caused the nuclear arms race to stop? And for us to kind of sign treaties, right? It was the Tsar Bomba. And you know what the Tsar Bomba uh, detonated at? Half yield. The Tsar Bomba was half as powerful last minute because of the person that made it. And he had a, a little bit of conscious, right? uh, consciousness, right? The Tsar Bomba, I attribute to uh, <laughs> them actually winning. Because at that point, everyone was going, oh, fuck. <laughs> it doesn't like bombs. <laughs> You're already blacklisted. Uh, fair. Fair and accurate. <laughs> Both are fake. We need the glorious King Dynasty again. Oh, my God. <laughs> this world is so fucked. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some want. more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United yeah. States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world... You know slavery was legal in some states through, I think it was the early 2000s? I'd have to have someone cite me on that. At the very, like, like there are some just places in the U.S. that just refuse to acknowledge, like, like, ending slavery. Like, it's, it's fucked. Also, because relevant, right, because I'm saying things in this video, if anyone has any, like, contrary evidence and can back it up, absolutely, I'm more than happy to, like, see the contrary and learn. As I've gone over, I'm not perfect, and if I definitely state something wrong, I want to do my due diligence and make sure I'm st stating the correct facts. So, you know, just as a creator doing my due diligence. The world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Uh -huh. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Oh. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's uh -huh. check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now uh -huh. your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Uh -huh. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks... I thought, somehow I thought that was talking about literally today, and I'm like, wait a minute. Won't fail, because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. Uh -huh. With bombs. Go Wanna print a brain? Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Yeah. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's uh -huh. pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? Yeah, where are we? That That's my question, is where are we? What, what, who, who are we? What are we? That is the question of the hour. But... That was, that was... Fun. Japan is an nope. island, but... Nope, there we go. Hi, I'm you're... Having a hug. I'm having a fucking time tonight, is what I'm going to say. I feel like you just had a brain aneurysm with the bank part. A little bit, yeah. J just a little bit. Like, I hear, like, too big to fail, and my brain just error 404s, and I'm just like, that's not how that works. Just do better. <laughs> to the Japan one. Um... I will save it for next time. That's my compromise. As I said, I'm unfor I'm I'm unfortunately just really not feeling well tonight. I haven't felt well for the past few days. Um, I I promise I'm trying not to use any excuse. If I can go longer, I could. I want to. Um, I'm really trying to get some sleep. I apologize, but we can definitely save it till next time though. Um, if you're on the React channel, thank you for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Um, it's really good to be able to get out and do these streams, even if I'm not feeling, you know, super well or if I'm feeling under the weather. I definitely appreciate it, and I like looking at history, even though I'm not the best at it. Um, and as someone said in the Project Melody stream that I was reacting to, I'm uh, I'm equated to a male Project Melody, and just how fucking just himbo I am. I I, I I like it. I dig it. I I will I will take that as a compliment. Um, 
the on the rock channel see you tomorrow if you are on the stream that is going to be it for this evening um i i need to go lay down for a little bit i need to go rest um but it was definitely a pleasure coming out tonight i really love seeing all of you thank you all for coming out i really appreciate it and i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night links in the description always always see you later